Hi girls, it's Miss Gaska. This is a video for English 3 Semester 1, Week 1, Activity 1.1. This unit is called the American Dream. We have a unit overview here, talking about the essence of the American Dream, where the phrase came from, and what it meant to different people. Here we have the unit goals outlined in the table of contents. So first of all, our goals are to understand and define complex concepts such as the American dream, to identify and synthesize a variety of perspectives, to analyze and evaluate the effectiveness of arguments, and to analyze representative texts from the American, American experience. Our academic vocabulary includes primary source, defend, challenge, qualify. And our literary terms are exemplification, imagery, personification, and synecdoche, synecdoche, <laughs> sorry. So moving on to activity 1.1, scrolling past table of contents. So the activity 1.1 is called previewing the unit. Our learning targets are preview the big ideas and vocabulary for the unit and identify and analyze the skills and knowledge necessary for success in writing a definition essay. Our learning strategies, we're not going to do think, pair, share because of the nature of online videos and online um, classes, but we are going to do skimming and scanning, marking the text, close reading, and KWHL charts. So, to get started making connections. In this unit, you will read a variety of texts and be asked to think about ideas and concepts that are American. For the first embedded assessment, you will define what it means to be an American. Some words, concepts, and ideas are too complex for a simple definition and require a multi-paragraph essay to define. Definitions also provide a, a writer the opportunity to clear up misconceptions about a concept or idea. You will learn to define a word or concept using four definition strategies by example, like by classification, by function, and by negation. So essential questions. The first one says, how do we come to understand big concepts? So this means, well, what can you do to comprehend something very broad? What do you do when there's a subject you want to know more about? but it's so wide and there's so much different information about it. That would be how you would answer number one, thinking about that. Number two is what is the American dream? And you may or may not have heard this expression before, but go ahead and jot down what you think it means. So for developing vocabulary, we're going to be using the QHT strategy in order to review our vocabulary uh, from academic and literary terms that we saw back there in the, um, the table of contents. So just to give you a reminder, for QHT, the Q stands for question, meaning I have no idea what this word means, I have tons of questions about what it means, or it's kind of coming up as a question mark in my head as to what this word means. H means heard, meaning I've heard of this word, but I don't really know what it means. And then T is I can teach this word, meaning I know what it means well enough to where I could share the information with somebody else. So we're going to scroll back up to our vocabulary and beside each word we're going to write a Q, an H, or a T. Q for question, H for heard, or T for teach. Okay. Once you've done that, scroll back down and we're going to move on to the part that says unpacking embedded assessment one. So as we unpack this, I'm going to highlight the different features. I'm going to highlight with yellow the do features and I'm going to highlight with pink the things that it's asking you to do. So. To begin, it says, your assignment is to write. So that's my verb, that's the thing I'm going to do. I'm going to be writing, that's the action that I'm taking. So your assignment is to write, what am I going to write? A multi-paragraph essay, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight that, but it comes in the wrong color, so I'm gonna change it by going to properties and selecting the color and changing it to the color I want. It doesn't have to be pink, whatever you want is fine that defines your interpretation of what it means to be an American. So that's another verb there, defines. Um, so that's another thing you're going to need to do, but within your essay. 
what are you going to need to define? You're gonna to need to define your interpretation of what it means to be an American. So this I'm going to highlight under properties again, highlight it, close, properties, close, okay. So this essay should use, okay, so use is something else that we're doing. The strategies of definition and different perspectives from the unit to help you develop a complex and thoughtful definition. So I'm going to highlight what we're going to use. In pink again. All right. And then I'm going to look where it says develop so we know that we're going to have to develop. It's another thing we're gonna have to do. Oh, whoops. And what are we going to have to develop? We're going to have to develop a complex and thoughtful definition. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to select properties, color, pink, okay? If possible, incorporate an iconic image in your essay. So you're also being asked to incorporate, that's a verb. And then what are you being asked to incorporate? An iconic image. So I'm gonna highlight that once again with the pink. Okay, so now I'm going to ask myself, what things am I going to need to know to successfully do this assignment? So first of all, I'm going to need to know how to write a multi-paragraph essay, which most of you guys already know how to do. We're also going to need to know how to define what it means to be an American, and it's going to need to be our own interpretation. We're also going to need to be able to use strategies of definition and different perspectives. We're going to need to know how to develop a complex and thoughtful definition. And we're going to need to know how to incorporate, or we're gonna to need to know how to choose and incorporate an iconic image in our essay. So those are the different things that you're going to need to do in order to complete the embedded assessment um, successfully by the end of our unit. So that's the end of this video. That's the end of 1.1. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about what you're supposed to do for 1.1, just let me know. Um, but I hope that this clarified things for you. All right. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.